Hey guys, so I want to do a quick little speed test and battery test comparison here between these two uh, compact devices. Uh, we do have the uh, iPhone SE here on the left and uh, another Z5 compact which I have just bought. Uh, this is the uh, grey version because I do prefer it actually over the white version. So uh, I think quite a lot of people wanted to see uh, which compact device you know was coming with better performance here because they are very uh, similar in terms of the power etc and probably on the top of people's shopping lists when it comes to you know a high-end phone here so let's uh, do it uh, let's just basically turn them both uh, off at the same time and uh, I have set up the fingerprint as well on both of them so we can check that out to see how they compare so we're just gonna reboot them You can see the Xperia takes quite a while to shut down. Quite a big route actually. So we'll just turn them both on here at the same time. So you can see the Z5 Compact does actually come with uh, slightly like uh, slightly bigger display so that is pretty nice but the iPhone SE is you know very quick to boot up here doesn't mess around and we're still waiting but we did get there in the end uh, which is very nice so we can just check out the uh, fingerprint technology here so we do get a fingerprint on the international version of the Z5 Compact uh, and uh, we wanted to see which one is quicker here so we're just going to see if we can do this so I didn't read my finger then on the Z5 let's try that again yeah you see so the one on the Z5 Compact is quite quick when it does you know read your finger but it could be in a bit of an awkward position for some people it depends on like whether you're right or left handed uh, but it's a very reliable one nevertheless and you know it's uh, pr pretty a shame they didn't include it on international versions of the the device so we can just basically get rid of everything here and have a look at the speed here of both of them see if there's any uh, differences by the way both of them are on 100% uh, here as you can see so we can see how they handle the battery as well could be uh, interesting and straight away you can see I think the Z5 is uh, a little bit faster here on some of these entry apps uh, that was about the same I think but the camera is always faster on the iPhone if you ask me it seems to be a bit slower on the Z5 uh, we can do some inbuilt well the third party ones so that was quite interesting uh, I think we have WWE so that was the iPhone there okay Cupid again the iPhone here very nice uh, music So a bit pop up here and there, but about the same for both of them. Uh, I think we have weather as well on both of them. So let's try that. Z5 again here. 
So the Z5 definitely seems to come up quite fast on quite a few of them, uh, but it's just the camera really, and some of the settings as well, uh, where you can see the A9 is very fast, even though it's just a dual core processor. Uh, we can have a look at the game as well. So we do have Nova. So you can see load straight away here on the iPhone. Definitely going to give it the point there. Uh, what about the the speed of the Wi-Fi? connectivity we can have a look how they compare both from the same infrastructure so we're getting very decent score here for the SE not quite as good as the its brothers though of the uh, six variety and we have lost a point on the battery for the Z5 compact whereas we're still on 100% with the iPhone and you can see though the Wi-Fi very nice here big improvement I think the Z5 Compact is cheaper than the iPhone SE and has more internal storage as well. So it definitely represents a good value for money kind of buy here. But uh, what else do we have? We do have the uh, web browsing we can have a look at. So let's uh, go to uh, GSM Arena. Go. So very fast load here. I think we're loading the. No, we're not. Looks like we're loading the uh, web whole web page here versus the mobile version, which is uh, interesting. Let's try a different one. How about Phone Arena? So Phone Arena. Go. So it looks like the uh, iPhone SE here a little bit there with that one. And again, which shows that you know even the raw Wi-Fi speed doesn't really mean everything here. You can still get very good speed on the on the browsing side of things again you can see that's the SC again Sony should definitely have its own browser I think so they can really you know optimize the software with the hardware so I thought we're going to give it to the iPhone when it comes to the web browsing regardless of the Wi-Fi speed uh, but nevertheless we can just round off now with a quick little uh, test of the performance of the multitasking. I think we're getting 2 gigs of RAM in both of them so it should be quite similar. Very quick though to go back into it here with the first one. Try messaging. So again a little bit reloady here on the Z5. but generally I think the Z5 Compact does quite a good job when it comes to the uh, memory management even comparison to its brothers which have more RAM a bit slow for the camera again Twitter so you can see a massive delay with that one I think it is running Android Marshmallow as well. So 
Are we running Android Marshmallow? Yes, we are. So, no excuses. WWE. Quite similar for that one. Two more. Let's try OK Cupid. Bit of a reload here. So I think the SC is going to give you a nice uh, multitasking to conclude, really. Uh, let's just go into the game again. Although I think I do prefer the Android version of multitasking. Double tapping the the home button seems a bit weird to me. Both of them kept it in memory, which is good. Uh, but generally, I found the SC, I think, has the slight performance edge uh, when it comes to like the multitasking and some of the apps as well uh, but then again the Z4 Compact you know did open up quite a few of them uh, itself a little bit better I think it specializes a little bit more in the third party kind of apps whereas the iPhone specializes in the inbuilt apps uh, whereas the uh, the speed of the Wi-Fi was obviously very good here uh, definitely think Apple could have carried that across from the iPhone success like the very nice speeds uh, of the Wi-Fi but yeah you know uh, I think the two absolutely fantastic phones though for people who you know are looking for a uh, very flagship performance on a smaller kind of size personally I think I prefer the Z5 Compact's proportions uh, 4.6 inches because you know while the uh, SE is very good it does feel a little bit cramped when you're doing you like typing etc whereas the Z5 Compact you know doesn't feel that bad really and it's amazing at one time phones were considered massive uh, I think the HTC Titan was about the same size as the uh, Z5 Compact if I remember correctly uh, but yeah, you know, uh, I think uh, they definitely have pros and cons. Both of them can be considered waterproof. Uh, there's no issues after I dunk this in coat. So that is pretty awesome. Hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Oh, and I forgot to mention actually uh, the uh, iPhone SE won when it came to the battery again. You know, Android definitely needs to get its house in order when it comes to the battery. Z5 Compact did well. It did better than the new S7. But you look at that, 100% after a full, you know, like 10 minutes of usage. Doesn't get any better than that. So, yeah, just something else to remember here.